to feel both world. Hey, you guys. Welcome to Sybil's World. I'm Talinka. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you decided to stop by. I hope you're doing well. We are doing well by the grace of God. I hope you are doing well. But if you're not or if you're not feeling well or things are not going well in general, let's say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for our viewers, subscribers, whoever else may come across this channel. I pray for them that you'll watch over them, keep them, and protect them, God, and cover them in the blood of Jesus. I pray that if we're not on a path that you would have us to be on, that you will guide us and show us the way because there are things that we just don't know and that we're, we don't understand and a lot of times God we get in the way of our own selves so God we pray that you will continue to watch over us and wake us up help us to see things that we haven't saw before help us to have a clear understanding of what you will have us to do God please keep our bodies healthy and our minds intact please help us to make it through these tough times and be strong god help us if we're going through a situation help us to heal properly and get through that so we can be ready to fight the next battles that may come our way that we'll be strong in the midst in jesus name we pray amen so you guys Kaith and I are about to go out, and I just want to come on to say a quick hello to you guys. You guys were on my mind and in my heart, and um, I pray all the time. And, re and remember, you guys, no matter what you hear me say, what you hear other people say, always read the Bible yourself. Read the Bible, get a clear understanding of it. There's like the Bible that I have, Below is it describes what that scripture is talking about if I don't understand certain words in that scripture At the bottom of my Bible it actually describes and tells you in detail What exactly was that verse talking about? So before you listen to me or anybody make sure you read the Bible yourself and get a clear understanding and when you read it and you get that understanding apply that to your life and live the way God wants you to live no matter what anybody says I think it's also important for you to know how to pray and lay hands on your family and loved ones and do things according to the way God want it to be done because everybody is different everybody got their type of way of doing it but it's good it's really good when you come across somebody who really does study the word and knows the word don't change it don't add on to it that they're taking what they read in the Bible and they are applying it correctly to the way that God wants it to be done see it's not about what we want or what somebody else want is what God says so God laid it on my heart to come and talk to you guys and tell you that today and it's because you guys know it's stuff everywhere is here and there and just because they're talking about God don't mean they're for God you get what I'm saying you have to be careful and you have to open your eyes and you have to be alert and be awake it's time for us to wake up. Be careful of things that you do. Make sure what in everything you do that you make a connection with God. That you know, because sometimes we can get lost in our life and the things that we do. But always keep God first. Keep him at the top. He's the head. And I'm telling you guys, everything will work out right. But you have to do your work. You have to do your work. And just knowing God for me brings me peace it's teaching me about myself and th these last two months you guys i have really been awakened i feel like oh my goodness i've been doing this doing that and god helps you to see clearly if you ask for it and i did i asked god to help me see some things and to wake me up and you guys let me tell you it's a game changer it is and it's not like having that peace and then when you close your eyes at night you know you know you've done well you have did good so 
yeah you guys i just want to come on and give you a little word um actually i was gonna um record as i go in and out stores but you know when god lays something on your heart you know you need to do it so you guys until next time mm -hmm. Thank you.